Hello Year One. Today we're thinking about the stories topic that we're doing and we're looking at some mythology and this is the story of Icarus who flew too close to the sun. So we're going to make a sun background with a silhouette which just means like an outline of Icarus. Now this outline is going to be a teeny bit tricky so I'm going to do a very simple outline that hopefully you can follow along with. So first of all I'm going to do a little circle it's a bit my, I might do it in white so you can see it better on the camera. So a little circle and then it's almost going to look like a butterfly because I'm going to do a wing that goes out that way, a wing that goes out that way and then I'm going to do two legs. One, two. Okay, so that's going to be my silhouette. Now, because I've done this in white, um, it's going to look a little bit odd when I've cut it out. So I'm going to make sure when I stick it down, you can't see my drawing. I'm going to stick it down this way. So I'm going to cut this out so it's ready to put on my sunshine background. Okay. Now, for the sunshine background, you might want to use an oil pastel or you might want to use a wax crayon or if you don't have either of those, you can just use white paint because the first thing we're going to do is do a circle of white in the middle of our sunshine background. So there's my silhouette, but when I glue it down, I'm going to glue it this way. Okay, so let's look at my sunshine background. So you're going to get your little piece of paper. Now, if you're doing this at home, you can choose the size, but in school, the children are using paper this big. And in the middle, right in the middle, you're going to do a white circle. Now, I'm using an oil pastel, but you might use a crayon or you might just use white paint. Okay, so I'm making sure I do lots and lots um, of layers of oil pastel and it's very difficult to see that because my paper's white but it will show up when I paint over the top. Then I'm going to do some sunbeams coming out from the centre of my sunshine. Okay, so I'm now I'm finished with this. I'm going to use my paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put yellow around my sunshine and you can see everywhere where my oil pastel touches the paper it makes a resist and that means that the paint can't soak into the paper okay so once I've put my yellow paint on I'm actually going around it in just water and the water sucks up the paint and it starts spreading it further wide. So I'm going to now change colours to orange. So I'm going to put orange around my sun. Okay. And once I've done that, I'm going to blend these slightly. And the way I blend it is I just use a wet brush and I move water from closer to where my white circle is and I move it out. And it, this, this blends the two colours because the water likes to mix together. Okay, and then my final colour is going to be red. And I, my, in my palette, I've got kind of a pinky red. So my final circle is going to be red. And I'm going to do red all the way to the edge. All the way to the edge. And I'm going to blend this in a moment. I'm going to do the same technique where I just take water and I drag some of the, the paint that's already in the, the orange and yellow section and I, and I drag it out to the edges. 
and that that will blend it okay so now I'm going to do my blending technique so I'm just going to drag some of this water out in this direction drag some in this direction drag some in this direction and see as I go around I'm just sort of blending the colors together now in a moment I'm going to dab this with tissue when I do this you're going to see a lot of the pigment is going to disappear but that's okay it will still look it will still look nice and kind of bright and watery it won't look as intense also it means that we can glue our Icarus down because when the paint's wet we're not going to be able to glue him down so I'm going to put that on there give it a moment to soak in and then I'm just going to use pressure and you can see where the paint didn't soak into the paper because we've got a sunshine shape there let's take that away let's do one more okay and this will lighten up the paper because as it's soaking up the dampness it's also soaking up some of the pigment like you can see the pigment appearing here on the tissue so when that's done we have something that looks like this and then it's ready for our silhouette now you can decide you can have him flying into the sun like that or you can have him kind of almost like standing in front of the sun or you can have him swooping down from the side so it's completely up to you so when it's done you're going to glue on your silhouette of Icarus flying. All right then, thank you, Yuan. Bye-bye.